Hey guys, welcome back, it's Matt here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of October for 2020. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. The launcher I'm using is actually Launcher 2, so the link to that will be down below. There'll also be a link to the wallpaper as well as all the apps I mentioned with timestamps as well, so you can go ahead and skip over things. So going over to my second page, this is where I keep my top apps in this folder here. So the first app on the list is Photo Studio. This is a great editor. So jumping into it, you can see at the top, there's an option to take photos, browse your current gallery, as well as create collages, picture frames and all that. But all I'm gonna do is simply import a photograph. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select one from a few weeks ago. So this one looks pretty good. So once you've imported it, you will see these options on the screen. The first things you can customize is you can go ahead and add text. So if you did wanna add something, you can simply type subscribe and there it is. We can go ahead and change the text size. So you can make it bigger, smaller. Then you can go ahead and choose your font as well. There's actually a bunch of different fonts to choose from. So you can go ahead and do that. You can also change the style. There's a bunch of different effects you can choose basically. So there's also this tool here, which is basically the healing tool. And within here you have manual correction. You also have cloning. So you can go ahead and actually clone something. So if I want to clone that sign over there, I can do that and then I can sort of move another one over there. Now we have two signs. So you can go ahead and clone things. There's also an option to do a 3D effect. So you can go ahead and grab this tree and then you can sort of move it slightly off to the side and give it like a 3D effect. So we can go ahead and do that, it makes it pop a little bit more. And then you also have some things like lens boosting so you can actually blur things out and change the focus, which is cool. There's also options like color splash, so you can go ahead and just have green showing on the screen, so everything else will be in black and white. So there's a few things you can customize in terms of those effects, but then jumping over to this one here, you have some basic things like cropping, you can transform your image, stretch it, things like that, and then you obviously have your brightness, hue, saturation, contrast control, Scrolling down on the homepage, you have filters. You also have some smart effects. These are really cool. So you can go ahead and actually import various different objects into your picture, like clouds, lightning, just random raindrop effects, rainbows, anything like that. And once you've imported them, you can place them through your image, change the transparency, and it looks pretty sweet. There's also a really nice picture in picture mode. There's basically this glass orb and you can have it in various different shapes and that displays your photo inside. So you can get like a really cool cinematic looking effect. So yeah, it's a pretty well-rounded photo editing app. It has tons of features packed in. Just go check it out and experiment. If you're into photography, you'll really like it. So jumping up at number two is note pin. This is really handy if you want to remember things, but you don't want reminders sort of popping up at certain times. You just want it always there to kind of keep your memory going that you need to do that thing. Because I find that I always do forget, even though it pops up, I tend to swipe it away. So this is really handy. Within this app, you can basically create a note. So to create one, you just click the plus. You can then add a title as well as a description. You can choose the priority level and you can have multiple different cards like this on your page. And when you wanna go ahead and remind yourself to do something, so maybe I want to do a YouTube backpack video, I can simply click on the pin. That will go ahead and put it at the top of my notification shade. And then whenever I actually go and check my notifications or even on my lock screen, it will remind me that I need to do that one thing. And so it can be pretty handy. That's pretty much all it does, but it does it really great. The interface is pretty nice and simple, but it's actually really useful. Now up at number three is a wallpaper app. This couldn't be a top app video without a wallpaper app. And that's actually where I got this wallpaper that you've seen on my home screen. But there's tons of different ones to choose from. When you open it, you see this category page and it's got some really cool sort of graphics. So as you can see, there's different colors, shapes, patterns. And if we just jump into one like this, say, I tend to like the pink and purple ones. There's a menu key. You can go ahead and download it, set it as your wallpaper, and you can also add it to your favorites. I'm just gonna set it as my wallpaper and you can choose home screen. And then it goes ahead and applies. Swiping back to the home screen, you can see this is how it looks and I actually really like it. So there's tons of really nice ones to check out. Just go and have a look for yourself, um, but it's definitely a refreshing app and different to other wallpaper apps. So the app in number four is Remini. This one is basically a photo enhancer. It uses AI to actually improve the quality of photos. So jumping into it, you do have an enhance option. You can go and do it on videos if you get the pro version, but I just like the free version. You get five enhances per day, but you can create multiple accounts to get around it. 
I'm just gonna show you a photo that I actually put in. So I put in this photo here, which is really blurred. It's just some random guy I found online. And then swiping over, you can see this app went and used AI to increase the quality of the photo. So it does a very good job. And if you have some really bad quality photos from years ago, you can go ahead and improve them, make them more of a standard for 2020. But yeah, it does work really good. Zooming in, you can see it removes all the noise and it actually goes ahead and makes it so detailed. So if you don't have any detail in pictures and they're dark and noisy, this is a great app to get. So coming in at number five is this one called Fake GPS. Now the actual app itself is not the best in the world, but it is actually really useful. So you can go ahead and change your location to pretty much anywhere in the world and it will convince every app on your phone that you're actually in that location, including the official Maps app as well. But this can come in handy if you wanna trick people into thinking you're abroad or you're just away from home. You can go ahead and actually change your location and it will actually change on your Snapchat and all that as well. All you need to do is go into your developer settings and then choose a mock location and you can select this app. And then I can simply go ahead and place myself in, I was gonna say Belarus, but maybe not. <laughs> not right now, let's put myself in Italy. So now I'm in there, I can go ahead and open up my maps application. And that's gonna show me that I'm actually in Italy, as you can see. So you can also use the location tags for this on Instagram when you post pictures, things like that. And you can use the Snapchat filters of the various locations as well, which is cool. So in Snap Maps, you can see it also works. So I'm currently abroad, which is pretty cool. Coming in at number six is Colorize. This is a great app if you have some old black and white photos and you wanna make them colored more up to date, you can go ahead and put them in this app. And you really can't tell that they were originally in black and white, which is nice. So you do have to watch an ad before you do it, but it's definitely worth it. So all we do is we simply click up here and get a photo from our gallery. So here's a black and white one of a flower. And as you can see, it's just made it into color. So you may think it's oversaturated and it doesn't look necessarily the best, but at least it does color it correctly and all the edges are perfectly in color. You can obviously go ahead and export this to a photo editor app and you can go ahead and tweak the saturation and make it look a little bit nicer but it does the job pretty good. So if you wanna make some old photos into color, Colorize is your best bet. Coming in at number seven is Tap Tap. So you may have seen out there on the new iPhone, you can go ahead and tap the back of your phone in order to basically do any task you want. It's an accessibility feature. You can download this APK, which allows you to get it on pretty much any Android device. Once you've jumped into it, you can go ahead and change your sensitivity. You can also go ahead and set a double tap action or a triple tap. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you I selected a flashlight. So I tap on my phone twice, it will turn on the flashlight. So yeah, it works. So the last app on the list is called Cast. This is really nice if you're home alone and you just wanna watch something with other people and you don't wanna watch it by yourself. You can go ahead and join these parties or even host one yourself and you can watch movies and TV shows and talk to other people who are also watching it. And it's really nice just to be able to have a discussion or maybe ask questions, like maybe you don't understand the movie, you can ask what's going on and people can kind of explain. So there's a few things you can do. But yeah, this is especially nice considering the circumstances of everyone sort of staying alone at home and it's just a fun app to try out. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed my top apps of October. Definitely let me know down below in the comments, as well as turning on that bell icon and smashing that like button. I'll see you guys later.